Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today we have a challenge made by a Muslim, Muhammadan. Uh, for sure they don't dare to challenge me by talking to me, but they challenge by posting text. Uh, this Muhammad, he said, uh, Jesus is not God. And then he posted a verse from Mark chapter 16. The Muslims always, they mention that verse. And maybe some of you do not know how to answer them. So today we will accept the challenge which made by the Muslims, by the Muhammadan. And I hope that moving around a rock in a circle does not make you dizzy to the point you do not know what are you talking about. Uh, the funny thing about Muhammadans, they call us pagans when the fact they are the one who kisses stones, go around a stone, bow in the direction of a stone. Everything in Islam is based in stones. And even Muhammad, he says that Allah, or sorry, the black stone is the right hand of Allah. And even he said it clearly that whoever uh, touched the stone, the black stone and the Yemeni corner, which in the other side of the Kaaba, it erased his sin. So stones erase sin in Islam. It's a very clear pagan cult, but yet they call us pagans. Now let us see what the challenge this Abdul he made. If we go to uh, the book of Mark, Chapter 16, verse number 17 and 18. It says the following. And this is exactly what he posted. He did not post chapter 16, verse 18 only. He posts 17 and 18. So we are showing you bo both together. And those things shall follow them. And that the believers in my name shall cast out devils. They shall speak in a new tongues. And they shall take up uh, a serpent, and they, uh, they if, if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So the Muslim he says, what I understand from his challenge, okay, I want you to drink something poison, you know, and let us see if it's going to hurt you or not, uh, because the verse is saying that. Uh, you know, always when the Muslims, when we show them a verse, they say, oh, you are taking it out of context and you are showing us uh, something the verse does not say. But you know, always when we explain the Quran, we show the Islamic interpretation for anything. Anything. It's not just a, we show either Ibn Kathir, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, etc. The Muslims, they don't do the same. The Muslims, they take a verse and they throw it in your face and they say, look what it says. First of all, I can show you even from your Islamic books that the apostle of Jesus, They've been sent by Jesus and they spoke in languages. Even it says, and we can show the reference, that when they woke up in the morning, in the, in the at night they say to Isa, supposedly, how we are going to go and teach the whole world, and yet we don't speak the language of the whole world. He said, go sleep and don't worry. In the morning they found out that all of them, they are speaking in tongues. So you Muslims believe in the same thing if you don't believe in that. Same time, uh, Speaking about poison, you know, why we don't read the verses before and we will see that those verses is about Jesus ordering his disciples to go and teach the, the gospel for the whole world. And then we will understand exactly what he meant by that. Here you will see, this is the same chapter, but without uh, cutting off verses. Uh, Jesus is speaking about that you are going to go and teach the gospel. And he said into them, go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Now here, this is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet and Islam is a pagan cult. Because the Muslims, they claim that Jesus was a prophet to the Jews. As long as you are quoting for me this verse, and you, which means you believe in it, to be exposing Christianity, or well, why you don't believe in the verse before it? So Jesus here is speaking about you going to the world and you are going to teach the gospel for them. All the disciples of Jesus, they are Jews. And the Jews are forbidden to eat from the hands of the disbelievers. For they are sacrificing their food in the name of their gods. And this is exactly the poison we are talking about. It's not a poison. Their poison is their food who is sacrificing in the name of their God. That is the same as a poison for the Jews. So Jesus saying to them, go and baptize and, and, and teach and, and spread the faith and all around the globe. 
but those disciples they are going to go and travel and they will go and they don't have a, they are not carrying their houses with them so how they will eat where they will eat eat everywhere the poison of the world will not affect you their God will not affect you if we go and see we will see in different places first of all the, the, the Bible says it clearly the scripture says you must not taste uh, test your Lord which mean you cannot say okay God I'm going to take a drink poison and then uh, I want to see if you want to save me or not this is forbidden in the Bible but this is not really what the Bible is speaking about it's not about you go and drink poison and then you will not die because the Bible make it clear that you will die isn't it the Bible says that people will kill you and they think by killing you they think they are doing a favor to God if we go here you will see it says uh, Luke 10 verse number 7 and 8 it says uh, in the same house in the and then the same house remain eating drinking such, such a thing as they given or they give for the laborer uh, is worthy of his hire go and uh, like go to house to house and then and into whatever city you enter and they receive you eat such a thing as they sit before you so he gave them permission to eat but this is not what the Jews they do the Jews are not allowed to eat from their hands and from the cooking of those who they are pagan not believers who sacrifice in the name of their gods so the poison they will face in their way that they will face a lot of different religions people who believe in different gods and those people they are forbidden to eat from their from their hands so Jesus has given them permission same time Jesus he confirmed that time will come and people will kill you they will kill you and they think they are by killing you they are doing favor to God is that true or not absolutely let us go there and see what what we will read but before we go there if we first if we go to first Corinthians you will see in chapter 8 verse number 4 and 13 it says so then about eating food sacrifice to the idols we know that an idol is nothing at all which means not exist in the world that and that there is no God but one see the Muslims you, you took the Shahada from us for even if there is our so-called gods whether in, the, uh, in heavens or in earth as indeed there are many gods and many Lords what does that mean the Satan the devil uh, you know there is many God yet uh, yet for us there is only one God the father from whom all things came for whom etc to live and then he says but one Lord Jesus Christ so the Bible confirmed that we believe in one God we don't have two we don't have three now but not everyone possess this knowledge some people is still uh, uh, exhumated in the idols and they uh, they eat sacrifice food they think of it is having been sacrificed to God and since there's uh, 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 like you know uh, uh, their understanding is weak about about what's happening uh, but food does not bring us near to God neither make us far away from God food does not bring us to God or make us far away from God all things are forbidden for us to do regarding food is for our health benefit not really for uh, for different reasons same time uh, not to associate with the pagans because simply you eat your food you marry from them you live with them you believe in their God and then this is what we spoke about just a few uh, days ago that you cannot marry from a pagan person or somebody is an unbeliever so here be careful however that exercise your right does not become a, a stumbling block uh, to the weak for if someone with weak uh, uh, consciousness see you uh, with all your knowledge eating in an idol temple when that person is it so here that you know if you read the verses you will see that explain to them that's we are eating the food from pagans or not eating from pagans that will not make us a close or far from God even though we should not associate with them but now they are preparing for a mission the Messiah is going to send them to the world and they have no choice but to eat 
so their poison is that they pray over the food in the name of the false god because the messiah said clearly that time will come and people by killing you they think they are doing favor to god if we go to the front verse we will find the following in in, in, in john They will put you out of the synagogue. Indeed, the hour is coming when whoever kill you will think he is offering service to God. So Jesus not only saying they will, uh, they, he is saying uh, you might be killed. He is saying they will kill you. The time will come and they will kill you. So they will be killed. They will be. Uh, 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 they will face death. And there is nowhere in the Bible it says that if you because you are serving me you will not die. So this is not what uh, what Jesus is saying. Going and serving the world, going and teaching the, the gospel around the, or the earth, you have to face a consequence and you will be killed, you will be tortured. And this is exactly what happened. Even they give them as food for the tigers, for the lions, for the cats, and for the, uh, all kinds of beasts. They've been crucified. Uh, they cut their head, they cut their hands, they torture them. So did Jesus say nobody can hurt you? Absolutely not. So when a Muslim, he come to us and say, that this this uh, uh, this verse here is speaking about that you can drink poison and nothing will kill you and nobody can hurt you this is absolutely false this is not what it says you will go and you will teach the whole world about me and they will not be able to affect you with their poison which means their cult and their religion and their teaching go and teach and nobody can hurt you in which way physically no Jesus himself was crucified and Jesus here is telling them, I was crucified and you will be crucified too. And now it's time for you to go and teach the whole world. So how in the world do you think, if we Christians believe that Jesus himself was killed, how the followers of Jesus will not faith this, death and, and, and die or be, can, can be killed? That would be silly and that would be stupid. All the disciples of Jesus face death. All of them sacrifice or, you know, or, or tortured. Uh, so it's not up to you to explain for us a verses you yourself you do not know what it's meant you see when we debate with somebody we debate him about his belief not about what he think or what I think about the belief like as an example uh, uh, once a Muslim told me the Torah is not the book of Moses hmm, stupid what I can say this is his what he think but this is not Islam Islam believe the Torah is the book of Moses all right so if you have his own uh, thinking this is a different story I have nothing to do with me or I have nothing to do with Islam too same time when I speak about Islam it's not up to me to think about Islam the way I want I debate Muslims about what they believe not what I believe because I believe Islam is a stupid cult that's it you know but they believe Islam is coming from the true God so we debate them about what they believe and when we see a verse in the Quran we, we you know we go and see what the Muslims how they believe in it what they say about it let us see what they believe so do we Christians believe that if you if a, if, a, if a snake did bite me I will not die by poison absolutely false do we Christian believe that if we drink poison we will not die this is a, this is absolutely far away from the truth or what he is saying to them that you are preserved by me Whoever die and believe in me will live. They will crucify you. They will kill you. You go to the world. You preach the gospel. And their poison will not kill you. In my name you shall cast the devils. I give you a power. You, speak, you shall speak in tongues. Which means don't worry about you speaking languages of people who you don't understand. So a Muslim he tried to make it the way he want. And that was supposed to will make him like uh, laugh at us. However, the Muslim themselves, when they make such an accusation, you know, they are showing us their ignorance, because their prophet he made a challenge too to the Christians. Let us go first to the Christian challenge. Let us close some browsers because there's too many.
All right. Now we go to the Quran. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. You see, Jesus, he promised them that nobody can hurt you in a mean that you are going to survive in my name. Not hurting you, not to kill you, but you will you will be in my, you know, you will be always living with me. In the Quran, chapter 4, verse number 47, it says, Allah, he said to the Christians, and this is speaking to us supposedly, uh, and the Jews, if you don't believe in Allah, and he's speaking now, not tomorrow, not next century not before the judgment day he will do to you the same as he did to the cursed jews who've been turned into apes and monkeys in the sabbath what he will do he will erase our faces he will erase our our our, our eyebrows he will make our nose go inside our face we will we will have no eyes no more even no ears and even our mouth will be uh, stitched and this is was a threat by Allah if you don't believe in me I will do this to you but as you see I am talking and Allah did not erase my eyebrows neither my eyes neither my mouth so your God Allah he made a false threat and you cannot say that this is was for the judgment day as you see because saying to us the same as he did to the cursed in the Sabbath and those who they are cursed in the Sabbath, Allah did not make them, or He will make them in the judgment day, pigs and monkeys. He made them supposedly already. So your God Allah is the one who make a challenge, and the challenge is a failure. Different challenge. Muhammad he said in the Quran, on the hadith, sorry, that the one who eats seven ajwa, he will be protected from poison and from uh, uh, magic I challenge you to eat seven ajwa and to drink poison do it if you can you see you are making a challenge for me which is not valid but this is about literally eating and not only eating ajwa he's telling you how many ajwa ajwa is the palm fruit dates for those who do not know if you eat seven of them, nothing happened to you. And guess what? What make it more more funny and Muhammad get himself exposed? He himself he died by poison. So how he say that if you eat seven ajwa, no poison can affect you, and he himself he died by poison. Do we have any Muslim have anything to say? You see, we accept the challenge you are talking about. Okay, Jesus said poison will not hurt you, right? And the way you understand it is, okay, if you eat uh, poison, nothing will hurt you. But this is not what he meant. Did you ask yourself why Jesus, he was mentioning this before they go to the whole world? You know? And he told them already, you will be killed. He told them, they will kill you. You know, he told them this is that in the past he told them you will be killed in my name time will come and people will think by killing you they are doing favor to God so they knew they would be killed so there is no way he's telling them that if you drink poison you will not die it's not what it's meant the poison is the food of those who pray in a food in the name of a false God that is the poison so they will not affect you with their false religions you will be strong you will survive all kind of temptations you will go through. Here, we are talking about literally eating seven ajwa. Seven ajwa, if you eat it, no poison can affect you and no magic. And guess what? Muhammad was killed by poison and he was affected by magic. So Muhammad here in this hadith, he double proof, he have a double proof for us that he's a false prophet. He did not survive the magic. He did not survive the poison. Let us see what happened to Muhammad. Did Muhammad survive the poison? Uh, I mean, the black magic? No. Let us see. The prophet once he was bewitched, so that be he began to imagine that he had done a thing which, in fact, he did not had done had not done. 
Do you see it, Muslims? The Prophet was bewitched. So if I say to a Muslim, you are following a bewitched prophet, should he be upset from me, guys? Is that an insult? Why Muslims will be upset if we say to you, bewitched prophet? Well, you Christian, you should, from now on, you say to them, so, oh, you are following the bewitched prophet. Can a Muslim say this is a lie? Can a Muslim, he says, this is a, you are, you are just uh, insulting? This is what happened. And the one is saying that is his wife, narrated Aisha. Once the prophet was bewitched, and look what happened when Muhammad get bewitched. He began to imagine that he had done a thing. In fact, he did not. Okay. Do you know how dangerous this statement is? Yes, do you know how dangerous this statement is? Because if Muhammad is imagining things he had done, but in fact he did not, that means Muhammad cannot be trustworthy for whatever he's saying. Because he imagined he spoke to Jibreel, but in fact he did not. <laughs> you know what I mean? How we can trust this guy after this? If we put in the profile, let us say we have a guy here going to witness in the court. And he have a file, uh, let us say medical file. Because this is a medical uh, situation now. You see, the, when the Muslim, they say the prophet was bewitched, they are just trying to say to us the prophet was crazy. For the Arab, anyone who do things which is crazy, they call him bewitched. They believe that somebody cast a spell on him. And this is a very traditional for all ancient people in the old days when something you cannot explain why it's happening. So what you say? Somebody casts a spell on him. This is a spell, a magic. But I believe strongly that Muhammad he have a mental issue. This is have nothing to do by, by, by bewitched. And then Muhammad he claimed that somebody took some hair from him and he controlled him from far distance. I mean, if this is the case, okay, go, go get some hair from Trump and control him. Who is a Muslim when I, when I got some hair from a Trump and control him from far away? Or get some hair from Putin? You know, those are the major two powerful men in this earth. Get their hair, put a black magic on them, and you can uh, do the voodoo, you know. You can make uh, Trump and uh, and uh, and Putin go in war. All what we need is some hair. And now I know why Brother Sam Shamoon, he is always, he have no hair. So he, nobody can control him. That's a smart idea, you know. So your prophet was bewitched. Your prophet was killed by poison. Yet he says, if you eat seven ajwa, no poison can affect you and no magic can affect you. So what we will do, Muslims, now? How we can trust Muhammad? And here, I don't want to forget to mention this. When Muhammad, he said, that I was killed by by poison. You see, he is confirming how he died. Muhammad he said that in the element which he died. It's not. This is not about him being sick. You see, it says here, the prophet in his element in which he died. And the Muslim they say that whatever the prophet he saying is it true? Is that correct, guys? Can a Muslim says to us that Muhammad here is lying? I who is a Muslim want to say Muhammad is a liar? Who is a Muslim want to say to us here Muhammad is lying he did not die by poison I want to see a Muslim saying that anyone either Muhammad is a truthful and he the Quran says which means everything the Prophet he says is coming from Allah he don't lie okay Muhammad saying, I am dying because of the poison. And now, not only now, he says, he used to say, you see the word it says, it says you used, which means Muhammad keep repeating this. Not only once or twice. For him, he knew he is confirming, he used to say, I feel 
I still the feel I feel the pain which means this is a pain he felt since he had the food in Khaybar which is a poison was given to him by a Jewish woman which Muhammad he killed her tribe and her family the food I ate at Khaybar and at this time at this time there is something different happening I feel as if my uh, uh, orta is being cut off from that poison okay but the Quran says that if Muhammad is a liar Allah is going to cut his artery the Quran said if Muhammad is to fabricate satanic verses in our name surely we will size him from his right hand and then certainly uh, should have cut off his artery or orta do you see it must have this is your translation not my translation do you see it so the Quran confirm a prophecy this is a prophecy Allah saying in his prophecy if Muhammad is a liar what should happen to him Allah will cut his artery and he will cause him to die what do you say Muslims and Muhammad he confirmed that this is exactly how he died isn't it amazing what do you think Muslims isn't it amazing it's amazing like you say you say okay if I, if Muhammad is lying I am going to do this to him and then this is exactly what happened to Muhammad so what do you want more proof and this is from where from the Quran this is not from the book of the Christian this is not from the book of the Jews this is not from uh, the if hadith or potato tomato this is from your Quran and both are authentic for you so what we will do what do you say any Abdul you see everything Jesus said about him about his uh, apostle it will happen happen he said you will be killed they were killed he did not say that poison will not uh, uh, will not harm you as you claim he told them you will be killed and he himself he was killed and he said he will be killed so everything he said come to be true here the only thing come to be true from Muhammad that he's a liar so we can say here in this case this is a true lie Muhammad Muhammad when he fabricated this Quran he never thought that this will happen to him stupid look what he said uh, this is a revelation sent down from the Lord of the whole world and if he Muhammad had forged a false saying concerning us Allah say call himself us because he's, he's speaking in, the, in front of the mirror we surely should have sized him by his right hand and we certainly should cut his artery do you see it any Muslim have a uh, a comment who is a Muslim here in the chat I see the guy there's his name is Nat. hey Nat, are you a Muslim Abdul Nat Tuner are you a Muslim uh, because I see you, you are saying to uh, challenge me not challenge me why you don't call me if you want to call me feel free do you like to call me Nat, or you are challenging yourself in the text It's good to challenge yourself alone. I mean, sometimes I play chess because I, either way I win by myself. Is that what you are doing now? Huh? No, only Muslims can call. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Let me open my uh, Skype. Give me a second. I mean, sorry, my uh, my pal talk. And if there is any Muslim would like to call, feel free. 
We will be happy to have you. They can call me in Paltalk. It's a program. It's for free. It's the same as uh, Skype, but it's better. <clears throat> Any Abdul? Who is Abdul? Let us see, we have someone here. Let us ask him first if he is a Muslim. <clears throat> Anyone? Isn't it amazing that Muhammad, he predict that he is a liar and he will die in a certain way and he die exactly as he predict, as a liar? What do you think? I am with Muslim knowledge, yes, what does that mean? I mean, I ask the guy, are you a Muslim? I say, I am with the Muslim knowledge. I mean, have you ever heard of a silly answer? I am with Muslim knowledge. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> You're an ex-Muslim. Oh, okay. So, debate you about what? I mean, what an idiot. Do we have any Muslim would like to, go to call us? My pal talk is open. Huh? Who is a Muslim? He have uh, he have uh, knowledge. He can challenge us. Anyone? Anyone? Nat is trying to call me. No, he's a liar. He did not even text me. Who is a brave Muslim? He is willing to call us. And you know what? We can have an open challenge. I mean, you give me anything you want about Muhammad to prove to us that Muhammad is a, is a prophet. Forget about our topic. No problem. Forget about Muhammad, his artery cut off, for he is a liar, as the Quran said. I'm not going to talk about it if you want. Who is a Muslim? He have the courage to call me. By the way, if you call me and defend Islam, I, 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 I assure you that if Allah is a true God, he will give you extra promotion and he will give you extra credit. You know, you might get like extra 10 or 20 versions, depend how good you do. Don't you want to get some more versions and some more boys? Allah, he promised uh, that Muhammadan Allah will extend the size of their penis. Don't you want to have extra six meters? Anyone? Okay, it looks like the, the Muhammadan are very shy. You see, the Muhammadan, they have a big mouth attacking us. But... They, they have nothing. They have a very funny cult. They have a very funny cult. They have a God who is a stupid. He says stupid things. And what I see in front of me is stupid. I mean, 
how you say if Muhammad is a liar I will cut his artery and then Muhammad later he died by the same way I mean don't Allah know the future somebody give a call to Allah say Allah hey take the verse take it off this is a problem it's stupid a Christian prince will uh, will read it hello you need to pay to use pal talk no pal talk no there is a there is a uh, there is membership if you don't want commercial in your pal talk that's all it's for free there is paid membership and unpaid the difference between them you don't receive a commercial it's for free and i'm using the free one and i'm using pal talk for for many 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 years So what do you think, Muslims? Anyone? It says, it's just text me, text me, no problem. I am offline or online, don't worry about it, just text me. What's your business if I am online or not? Just text me. And no, I am online. Not offline here we go I will show everybody see it says I am online so why are you are lying guys does it say online look even the 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 LED light green next to my name and it's flashing like we 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 so stop lying I understand you are afraid that your mama she will know that you call me and maybe she will spank you otherwise what you are saying is not true so who is a Muslim wanna call me how Muhammad he predict how Muhammad he says if you eat seven ajwa uh, no poison can kill you and no magic can affect you and then Muhammad himself he was under the influence or the, the, the effect of magic and he died by poison any abdul want to explain to us anyone nobody nobody what we can do anyway as long we are uh, uh there's no muslims we, we will we will change the topic we will take about something make you feel better okay the knowledge of the prophet the knowledge my uncle asked Allah apostle about a person who imagined that he had passed wind <laughs> fart during the prayer Allah apostle replied he should not leave his prayer unless he hear the sound and he smells something I mean look at this man I mean look this, look at this religion this is deep this is deep I don't know where are you from maybe you are a Hindu maybe you are a Buddha maybe you are an atheist maybe you are a Christian I'm not sure but this is deep okay a guy he's praying to Allah he bent down okay now okay shall I leave shall I stay he need to know I mean what okay what is next okay I got the uh, you know it coming out the Prophet look look how fast the answer is the breed is right away in the head of the Prophet Muhammad, you hear the answer. Muhammad, you do not need to ask Allah what we should do now. No, no, the answer come right away. Brother, if we ask Zach and Nag, what we should do? Brother Sitter, a brother, they ask you question. If I pray to Allah and suddenly I break wind, and you know if I break wind, there the bad smell will come out. Brother, did somebody ask the Prophet the same question? And you said to him, if you do fart, brother, you should stay in the prayer in your place, don't move until you hear something and then you smell something so if you hear only brother and you don't smell something then you move and vice versa which mean if you smell something but you don't hear something stay brother that's deep that's deep i mean this is wisdom we should have changed the name of the book for al-bukhari to call it the book of fart Hmm? This is the book of fort. 
So what we learn now, we learn how to fart while, while we are praying to Allah. There's two kinds of fart. There is fart which Allah, he will, he will not accept your prayer. And there's a fart which Allah, he accept your prayer with it. I mean, the guy, he fought anyway. He hear it or not, who care? Why, why there is a difference between a fart he hear it and a fart he don't hear? He felt it. No, you have to hear it, brother, and you have to smell it, brother. So what is the difference between a, a fart we hear and a fart we don't hear? Is the first one is a holy fart and the second one is not? Hmm? Are you? Any Muslim? Shall we change the topic? I mean, I don't know what to do now. Look, the Muslims, they made a challenge for us about drinking poison, and here we go. They are they are losing ground in everything, even in farting. And by the way, why Allah will not accept your prayer if you farted? I mean, what's... I mean, the fart is inside you or outside you. What does make a difference? Actually, fart outside you is better than fart inside you. You, may, you, you know what I mean, guys? You have fart anyway. I mean, if you, if the fart is inside, it's inside your body. You think you made wudu, brother? You clean yourself? You are not. You are full of fart. So now, when you want to keep the fart inside you, and what do you mean? Like now, he is praying to Allah. Is the fart will go with the prayer to Allah? So Allah, he opened the 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 the, the prayer and the, uh, you know hurt you and like, like uh, uh, garlic fart. What do you say, Abdul? What the difference between your fault is inside and that your fault is outside? <clears throat> and why? Uh, by the way, uh, Muhammad he said many things, which is amazing. Uh, as an example, the angels of Allah they hit they hit, they hit garlic. And that makes sense. Why we should not eat those uh, fruits or those uh, vegetables, onion, garlic, leeks? Uh, why? Huh? He is forbidden even from entering the mosque. So the Muslim, he pray five times a day. You cannot enter. Read carefully why. The narration of Muslim is, he who is eating onion or garlic or leek should not approach our mosque because the angels are also offended by strong smell. Guys, do you know what I do when I want to commit sin? Just to be honest with you, I eat garlic. I eat garlic, I commit sin, the angels are not there. Because they cannot stay around with the garlic. Look like the angels of Allah, they are Dracula. Any comment? Why, why the angels of Allah, they don't like garlic? What the problem, Muslims? Any Muslim have an idea of what the problem between the garlic and the angels? Why, what, what, what is the difficulty? What is that? I mean, it's a stupid garlic. I mean, so I mean, what do you mean for? Is the angels going to sniff me? <laughs> What is that? I mean, he will not smell you unless he's getting close to your mouth. Well, why the guy, why the angel is going to go there? What what the angel is doing exactly? The angel who have six hundred wings and he covered the horizon, as Muhammad he described, he will be offended by garlic. The earth is full of garlic, so so that means the angel cannot come to the earth. And not only garlic, my friend, garlic and onion, onion. Why? Leak. Let us let us uh, 
Get a search for the leak uh, plant. Let us see the leak plant. What is that? I mean, look how dangerous this leak, man. I never thought that Allah is so weak and his angels to the point such a plant can really harm them. But by the way, if you think about it, this uh, this plant looked like dangerous thing. I mean, look at this. I don't blame the angels, by the way. I mean, this is dangerous. Don't you agree? The angels of Allah, they have a problem. They cannot resist the power of garlic and leek and onion. Huh? Okay. There is a wisdom behind this. Maybe Allah, he designed the angels and they have like a weakness when it's come to those... Uh, uh, you know, by the way, garlic, you do not know what are you missing. Garlic tastes good, onion tastes good, and leek tastes so good. You angels, you have no idea. What are you missing? Okay. Somebody from uh, from Indonesia asking me uh, to speak about the Kaaba is the first house of worship. Okay, well, no problem about that. We can prove it easy to be false. First of all, where where Adam was landed? Anyone knows where Adam was landed according to Islam? Where Adam was landed? There is a video on YouTube. You can see it. Uh, this is the Sheikh. What his name? Mufti Mufti Monk Mufti Monk. He explained to you that Allah He sent Adam in Sri Lanka. Let us see. Islamic landmark. Islamic landmark website the Muslim believe that this is the footstep of Adam and by the way the footstep of Adam I mean this is weird I mean uh, there's only one footstep look like 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 Adam at that time was like a kangaroo why only there's one footstep what happened to the rest any Muslim have an idea and now they are fighting with the Buddhas about who this temple belong to who. The Muslim they claim that this belongs to Adam, and the Buddha they say no, that they are supposed to it's something have to do with the religion too. So look at this. This footprint is 5.7 by 2.6 is believed to be the footprint of Prophet Adam. Upon peace upon him. Or like, this is different now upon him peace uh, upon him be peace this is different English who was uh, said to be 60 a cubit tall okay I'm gonna go with you Muslims Adam is 60 cubit tall he is doing what in the top of this hell I mean he can't even stand he will fail the wind will push him this is small tiny little hell Adam was there stepping here why is that the elevator supposedly so Adam he sent down by Allah by the parachute and then he landed here what what happened anyone knows oh, why you did not accept my uh... I think this is the kid, Gigi, Gigi. <laughs> let us, let us, let us laugh together. Hold on, <clears throat> just to laugh. Hello. Hello. Potato coward. He is calling me coward and then he hang up. Hmm.
I next. Who is next? Anyone? So look at this uh, story here. Anyway, to make it simple. So Allah, he sent down Adam in Sri Lanka. Question Muslims. Why Allah, he sent down Adam in Sri Lanka and the Kaaba is in Mecca? Brother. Brother, brother. There is some mystery here, brother. Either Allah was not using GPS or there was a windstorm, brother, and pushed the parachute of a prophet Adam in the wrong location. And then Allah, he ordered Adam to go to Mecca. Let us, let us look at the map. Hold on. Uh, <clears throat> Sri Lanka map. All right. So I want the I want the Muhammadan to focus with me carefully here. So this is Sri Lanka. Okay. But here Sri Lanka is an island, it's totally an island. How Adam was able to go and pass the sea? Any Muslim can tell us. This is the first man, there's no ship, there's nothing. Hmm? He was landed here and now he have to move to the other side. You have to go to India. Any Muslim can tell us how Adam was able to go all the way? Hmm? Let us see. We have a we have a Muslim Abdul. Supposed he is texting me. I, I hope he's not a kid. But anyway, if he's a kid, we will laugh anyway. Ah, oh, he's busy. Uh, oh, he says he is using an older version of Paltalk that does not support. Okay, he have to update his Paltalk. Let's try again. No, it's not working. Any Muslim can tell us how this happened. It is still him. That you need to update. Oh, I was typing in Arabic, you believe it. All this type. Do you hear me in Palto? Okay, update, update your, uh, update your, uh, I mean, you heard me in YouTube. Update your Palto. So look at this. The story of the Muhammadan, not only silly and stupid about the Kaaba as the first house. Because now, Adam, he have to go all the way. Do you know how far Sri Lanka is? How Muslims, how Adam was able to go to Mecca? Any Muslim can tell us. Who is the Muslim? Can tell us how Adam was able to go to Mecca. In order for uh, Adam to go to Mecca, he have to travel all this distance. He have to cross the sea, and at that time there is no ships. This is the first man supposed in Earth, and then he have to cross all of India. There was no Pakistan. This is a new state, and then he have to go to Persia. And then he have to go to Babylon land, and then he have to go to Saudi Arabia, and he had go to like this and like this and like this. How many years would take the trip? And how he can cross the sea walking? Do we have any Muslim? Either you have to agree that this is a lie. Let us see this guy. 
it's the same. Do you understand me, Abdul? I told you, you need to update, you need to update. Slow people. Any Muhammad I can explain? How Adam was able to walk on the sea, cross all the way to India, cross all of India, go and cross all of Persia, and then he crossed to Iraq, and then cross all of Saudi Arabia, and then he found Mecca. How he even knows that he should go to Mecca, and what is the direction? Any Muslim have an idea? Anyone? And by the way, anyone knows where Eve was landed? Where Eve landed? Anyone knows? Some Muslim they say that she landed in Yemen. I mean, look what Allah did. He sent the guy here and his wife here. What happened? Maybe the spaceship broke like before they arrive or something. Adam now here and his girlfriend is here. What? Uh, and he, how he found her later? How they met? Do you think they text each other in uh, WhatsApp, Muslims? I mean, you Muslim, you claim that you have authentic books and you have authentic religions. And your authentic is nothing but a stupid fairy tale story. What Adam have to do with Sri Lanka? I will tell you what Adam have to do with Sri Lanka because Islam, the roots of Islam is from Sri Lanka. This is the truth. The root of Islam is coming from Sri Lanka. It is a Buddha religion transformed through India all the way to Saudi Arabia. If you look carefully in the map, let us do this. How far India is from from the Arabian Peninsula? Not far, very close. This is Pakistan. This is Pakistan, and this is the Arabian Peninsula. Which means, if you go from here, this is less than sixteen, uh, like total the total total width of sixty mile, and the the the. Uh, uh, Hormoz is about 16 mile total. That's it. Very, very close. If you look at those who they call them Arab today, you will find that they look, especially in Qatar, Emirat, Bahrain, they look like people from Sri Lanka and people from India. Let me show you, or Pakistan specifically. And guys, don't don't text me in in pal talk. You see, don't make me do the same as it did in Skype. I run away from Skype because a Christian keep text me there. I said one million time, please don't text me in the program I use for Muslims to call me. If you are a Christian, if you are a Christian, use the chat in YouTube because my pal talk will jump like a crazy, and I will keep receiving messages. You want me to hang up in pal talk? I will close my account there. I run away from Skype because I open my Skype. I find like 2,000 people saying to me, hello. Now, let us see. If you look at those faces, don't you think you are seeing someone who is from Pakistan?
What do you think? Is that really an Arab, as they call them Arab? Or this is a Pakistani boy? He's a Pakistani boy. This is his father. Their hair, their mustache, their everything, they are, they are Pakistani. There's nothing that's called Arab. They are mixed, you know, they, they, are, they are from Pakistan. They came to the Arabian Peninsula and they brought with them the belief in black stones and etc. and all the madness. Hmm? Any Abdul have something to say? Anyone? Anyway, we go back to the Quran where it says that the house of Allah, the first house of Allah, is the uh, the, the Kaaba. The, the Quran doesn't say that. The Quran says something different. Look what the Quran said. The first house which Allah He built is the house which is in Bakka. Where is Bakka? Where is Bakka? The Muslim they say that this is now Mecca. It doesn't say Bakka. It says Bakka. Read with me. Okay, did it say Bakka? Who is a Muslim? I tell us where is Bakka located? Any Muslim have an idea? Hmm. It says here that the house which Abraham he built is in Bakka. However, Abraham is not the one who built the house. Abraham, he rebuilt the house according to the story. But where is where is Adam building the house? What is the story of Adam building the house? What is the stories of the angels building the house? Because the Muslim believe that the first one who built the house, it was Allah himself by sending 40,000 angels. 40,000 angels to build a small room like this. I mean, what are those angels? They were sleeping all day or what? Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? So all this fairy tale stories about Adam, Abraham, he went to Bakka, and then you 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 make it Mecca. You are even confused about the name of the city. Is it Bakka or Mecca? Hmm? Which one? Any Muhammadan have a comment? What is the proof that this is about Mecca? Where we can find the reference that Mecca is Mecca? Anyone? Any Muslim? What's wrong with Muslims? I mean, what? Why Muslims? They 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 have no answers for anything. Why there it says Mecca? Do a Christian prince talk about Jewish Kabbalah or Talmud? Why I want to talk about it? Give me a reason to talk about it. We don't believe in Talmud anyway. The Talmud is a stupid book, the same as the Hadith and of Muhammad. And the Jews are going to convert to Christianity sooner or later. What is left of them is very few. 
אני אבדול. אדוארד, אם אתה תקיף פוסט את זה, אני אבלט אותך מהצד. רק כדי שתדעו. יש לנו מוסלמים שיש לנו משהו לומר. אנחנו נשמע את זה. Okay, why they call it Bakka then? Actually, neither Bakka, neither Mecca was exist in that location. Let me show you what Mecca is. Give me a second. This is the temple. It's called the Temple of Al Makkah. Let us show it in the screen. Give me a second. All right. This is the real name of Al Makkah. It is. You see the name? As you see the name, what is the name of the temple? Al Makkah. Read it to me carefully. This is a temple for the moon god in Yemen. And the Kaaba, the Muslims they have, is a counterfeit. Of this temple they took stones from there so people will not go and do uh, uh, visiting they don't have to go there uh, to visit this temple as simple as that the temple of El Makkah the same name this is the temple Muhammad you know he adopted the same religion which was exist before him which is worshiping the moon god and the Arab before him, long before his, his existence, they practice this. They bring stones. Uh, uh, from from that place. And you know, they told people that's okay, now you do not need to go and do Hajj. And then we will see. Uh, this guy is saying he is a Muslim from Lebanon. Let us see if this is true or not. <clears throat> Hello, CP. Here we go. The whore of the Babylon. It is block you and we will block you in the chat so you are calling me and you are saying to me call me to say to me this are you happy now do you feel better are you going to sleep in your belly now or in your stomach or in your back you look how silly stupid people are <laughs> anyway this is why you know you always uh, you know what I say to to uh, uh, women women or men be careful when you get married imagine you marry such a such a such a potato like this imagine you get a donkey like this to be your husband you will be so proud to have him as a husband I mean there's no way I mean you would be so proud about him all right any Muslim have the courage and the knowledge.
let us see we have a muslim i think here let us say he is not uh, uh, this guy he cannot he have an old pal talk we cannot call him <clears throat> somebody says to me a muslim he said to me that uh, jesus was a muslim because he fast 40 days well, ask him the idiot if Jesus fast 40 days. So, will you fast 30? <laughs> if Jesus he fast 40 days, I mean, why you need me to answer you? I mean, aren't you don't you guys have a brain? A Muslim he asked you, Jesus is a Muslim because he fast for 40 days. So, will you fast for 30 days or 29? Because they they fast a uh, uh, moon calendar. If G did Jesus fast by the moon. Jesus, he fast for 40 days. Secondly, you Muslims don't fast. None of the Muslims, they fast. Islam, they, they don't practice fasting. Ramadan is not a month of fasting. It's the month of eating. You can go right now and you can search in Google. You will find that in the month of Ramadan, food price in the Middle East goes skyrocketing. Why? Because the people, they are eat more. All what they do, they switch the day and the night. And that's it. There's no fasting. This is not fasting. What does this have to do with fasting? They sleep all day. They eat all night. They make their last meal early morning. Okay, I eat, me, myself, I eat once every 24 hours. I, 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 re, I do real fasting. Do you? You don't. In the month of Ramadan, every Muslim, he gain weight. Where is the fasting? Price food go crazy in Ramadan. Is that because you're fasting or because the high demand? Uh, Ramadan is coming right now, actually, soon. Read with me. This is the news. Uh, this is not my news. Huh? Read. Food price surge during Ramadan. Why? Because you know, if nobody is eating, the food price will go down. <laughs> is that correct? If nobody buy food, the price of food, no, nobody buy it. That's it. It's, uh, you know, they will they will give you a big discount just buy because nobody is buying. But food price in Ramadan go crazy. Because in Ramadan, they eat like elephants. Where is the fasting? You don't fast. You are a hypocrite. Muslims, they never have a fast. And by the way, why Muhammad was used to fast Ashura and then he replaced by Ramadan? Any Muslim can tell me? How if you fast Ashura, Allah forgive your sin. And suddenly Ashura became not important. What happened? Even if you fast the day of Ashura, just one day. Allah forgive. The sin of the previous sin, a previous year. Have you ever heard of such a deal? Huh? <clears throat> I heard Ibn Abbas when he asked about the fast of Ashura. Say, I do not know the Prophet fasted any day because of etc., except by the mean of the month of Ramadan and the day of Ashura. Okay, what happened to Ashura Muslims? Anyone told me? Anyone you can tell me? The Prophet he observed the fasting of Ashura. What is Ashura? Who is a Muslim can tell me why your prophet he fast Ashura? Anyone knows why? Look, look how important the fast of Ashura. Look, the Messenger of Allah said, who was asked about observing uh, a psalm, the fast, the fast of Ashura. Uh, if you fast Ashura, it give you exception or erasing your sin for the preceding year. 
just fasting one day all you send for the preceding year is gone so why you want to fast Ramadan any Muslim if you fast Ramadan does not forgive your sin for a year Ashura is more important so what happened to Ashura any Muslim can tell us <clears throat> what happened I will tell you what happened Muhammad is trying to establish a religion the Jews they have fasting the Christian they have fasting the Sabian have fasting you don't have fasting so he chose a day which is was a practice before him according to Aisha the pagan Arab they used to fast Ashura now I want to ask the Muslims who what is Ashura anyone Any Muslim have an idea? Look, we have many Muslims in the text, but none of them can tell us what is Ashura is. What is Ashura, Muslims? Read what Aisha is saying. Aisha, she said, during the pre-Islamic period of ignorance, Quraysh used to observe the fasting of the day of Ashura. So this is a pagan practice. Guys, does it say that? Does it say that the pagan Arab, they used to practice the fast in Ashura? It says that, right? Okay, so why you fast it, Muslims? And why, if you fast this day, Allah forgive your sin for the coming year? Anyone knows? This is a fasting for the pagan. Why Muhammad, he copied the pagan and he promised you, if you fast that day, Allah forgive your sin for a year. Who is a Muslim? I tell us. Anyone? Didn't know. Islam is the most silly cult. I assure you, every Muslim now down in the chat is searching Google, Prophet Google. What is Ashura? Who is a Muslim? Tell us what is Ashura. Look at them. How many Muslim in the chat? Not even one of them can tell us what is Ashura. What is this guy, Ashura day? What does that mean? Hello? You tell me if I open my Skype. Uh, okay. Well, my pal talk is open. You can text me. You can call me in, in pal talk. It's the same. Any Muslim can tell us what is Ashura and why the Arab, the pagan Arab, they observe the fasting of the day of Ashura. And then Muhammad, he took it and he accepted this day to be a fasting. And he said, if you fast Ashura, Allah will forgive your sin for the whole year. Anyone? Ashura is a Hindi god. I don't know. You have to prove it. I don't take things as a statement. Do you have a proof? Do you have a proof that Ashura was a Hindi god? If you can uh, give us the proof, we are welcome. Who is a Muslim? Can tell us. So look what Muhammad said. If you fast this day, Allah will forgive your sin for a year. So how you dump it? Why it became not important? And why the Arab are fasting it? Ask your Jesus? Why I want to ask my Jesus? My Jesus told me that you are a pagan. Already he answered me. Go and kiss the stone. Why you don't ask your Allah? Jesus told me that Muhammad is a false prophet. Jesus said to me clearly that whoever deny me, I deny him. He told me that the one who denied the father and the son is an antichrist. So we know, we have the answer. I'm asking you, 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 why you fast Ashura? Why your prophet fast Ashura and he observe it? And this is the pagan practice and he promised you if you do fast it, Allah will forgive your sin for a year. And then he throw Ashura away and he replaced with Ramadan. And he must have an answer. Look at them. We don't know.
Any Muslim know? Are you telling me Muslims that you do not know? Are you serious? Not even one of you knows what is Ashura is about. Uh, no, Abdullah Samir, I, you cannot call me. You, you, you until now you do not know if the if the circle is a flat or not. You think the circle is a flat when the circle is a virtual space. You are not better than the Muslims, by the way. Even if you left Islam, don't think you you think you are better. I know that David would speak nice to you. I am for me. I don't play games, and I hit in the head. You are no better. You are false like them. We say to you that the earth is says the globe of the earth or the circle of the earth. He says the circle is a flat <laughs> And he think he's smarter than the Muslim supposed and he left Islam. You are the same The circle is a flat why is it an object? How the circle can be flat It's a virtual thing. It's a shape It's a drawing Anyway, so do we have any Abdul want to say something to us? What is Ashura? Look at them, not, not even one. Are we stuck with this? Muhammad, he liked Ramadan. He left Ashura. What this guy is doing? He is changing his skin. No, Samir, I am not like you. In the back, you say something about me. And in the front of me, you are so nice and so gentle. I'm speaking to you face to face. You are no better. Quraysh used to fast the day of Ashura in the pre-Islamic period. And Allah Apostle too used to fast on that day. When he came to the Medina, he fasted that day and he ordered that to be fast too. Later, then he fasted the month of Ramadan, and he gave the up the fasting of Ashura. <laughs> How you can give up the fasting of Ashura? Was Muhammad fasting Ashura by the order of Allah or by the order of his own self? Muslims, when your prophet was fasting Ashura, and then he decided he left it and he decided to fast Ramadan. Where Muhammad is getting this from? Where he got received an order saying you can fast Ashura, and then he received an order says don't fast Ashura. Any Muslim can show me. Uh, read if uh, no, this is not about hate. You are being stupid now. When we say to somebody you are wrong, this is not about hate. That's stupid of you. Correct, guys. If somebody says something stupid and he speak about it in our back and he he think he go to uh, to the show of uh, uh, of uh, David Wood and he speak and maybe David Wood did not notice he said the Christian Prince he think the, the circle is a flat is uh, sorry the, he think he, he don't know the circle is a flat that's stupid of you shame on you to say that shame on you to say that you are you are lacking knowledge you claim knowledge you left Islam but you still uh, you still a Muslim in the mentality you speak uh, uh, you know against people in their back this is what Muslims do in the front of you brother and we etc and you are so kind you they turn their back you stab them Islamic agenda you did not leave Islam yet you are still you have the same mentality so any Muslim want to tell us Who is a Muslim can give us the answer? Why Muhammad? Who is the one who ordered Muhammad to fast Ashura? And who is the one who ordered Muhammad to stop fasting Ashura? Any Muslim can give me a reference. Anyone? What do you mean the guy he ordered you to fast Ashura and then he give it up for Ramadan? What is that? No answer. So look, they do not know why they are praying to the Kaaba. They do not know where this black stone is coming. There is nowhere in the Quran is mentioned the black stone. Why Allah did not mention is a holy stone? 
why Allah forgot about something so important you don't know you don't know it's a book of ignorance big mouth they talk too much they shout too much but the second you ask them a question they don't know look in different place look what Muhammad said Or this hadith saying here, I heard that Muawiyah ibn Abu Sufyan. Anyone knows what Muawiyah mean? I mean, like the, the 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 one who lead the Muslims. His name is Muawiyah, which means a female doe. Okay, let it go. In the day of Ashura, during the year of uh, he performed Hajj, saying, "Oh, the people of Medina, where are your religious scholars? I heard Allah Apostle saying that this day of Ashura." Allah has not enjoyed it fasting on you but I am fasting it you have to choice they have the choice either to fast or not to fast okay here we go Allah did not enjoy the fasting of Ashura Muhammad fasted why Muslims why Muhammad he fast the day of the pagan any Muslim can tell us Aisha, she confirmed that this is the day of the fasting for the pagan of Quraysh. Read with me carefully. Why Muhammad, he enjoyed the fasting of the pagan. Uh, a Muslim saying to me, why you cannot explain Hebrew 5-7? Who said we cannot explain it? But why you are changing the topic? I mean, look at you. We talk about tomato, you, you switch. Huh? Can you? Let us make a challenge. A challenge between me and you. You call me. You answer about why you're a prophet. He fasted Ashura, and I will answer you about Hebrew five seven. What do you think, guys? Good deal. Challenge. And the coward is the one who will not answer. What do you say? Potatoes. Potato, potato, potato. They don't know. They know nothing. This is a pure cult. Cult. Why they fast? Why didn't fast? Why? How they know? Muhammad is trying to make himself a prophet. Everybody have a fasting. So okay, they have fasting. I will. I will. Okay, I, I do Ashura. Why? Any Muslim have an idea? They don't know. And the second you squeeze them, they say to you, uh, read for us the verse from the Bible. Hmm? Okay. Any Abdul? Open Skype, my Skype. Uh, what Skype? Uh, go and call me in Pal Talk. Uh, take permission from your mommy and call me in Pal Talk. Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> Hello? Who is a Muslim at the last? They don't know. And my, my, my pal talk is open. What a stupid cult. They practice without knowing anything.
Anyone? Okay. What about Ramadan? Why you fast Ramadan? Do I have a knowledge, Christian, who can answer me? Hey, Haji, how are you? You're, so uh, supposedly you are the one who have a knowledge? Guys, Haji is the person who have the knowledge. Okay, Haji, why your prophet, he fasted the pagan day of Ashura? Here we go. You are the person who have knowledge. We are learning from you. Why your prophet, he fasted Ashura? Are you going to answer me, Haji? Or you are just a text, Haji? <laughs> Bahman, we accept calls from Muslims only. Anyone? Are you serious? Just to challenge me in the front of your disciple, and the only way to fulfill it for you, open your Skype, but you refuse. You are an idiot because I have pal talk open and it's the same as a Skype. Call me. You are being stupid now. Anyone want to call me? You can call me in pal talk. It's a free program, the same as Skype. And my Skype, my pro, uh, my pal talk is open. Here we go. And this is my name in Pal Talk for those who wanna call me. And I am online. Who there? Stop being a coward. I'm waiting for a Muslim to tell us why your prophet he chose to fast this day. Okay, if you don't dare to call me, what about you answer me in text? Why your prophet he fasted Ashura? Who wanna tell us? Anyone? Who is a Muslim who can give us in the text in the chat? Why Muhammad he fasted Ashura? Look at this religion, they don't know. Anyone? Yeah, no. So Allah did not tell him to fast Ashura. Is it okay for a prophet to choose the pagan fasting and he fast with them? When the pagan they fasted Ashura, they are fasting to who? To their God. Why Muhammad fasting the same fasting? If this is a pagan practice, who practice fasting for their pagan God, and Muhammad he practiced the same fasting with them, that's mean he's a pagan too. Ashura is different for Sunni and Shia. Is that an answer now? That means Islam is stupid. If you have one prophet, you have two, two, two fasting. Ashura for the Sunni is different from... The, no, it's not different. It's not different. Uh, you know, study well, you will see. The Shia, they connect Ashura to something else happened to their the grandsons of Muhammad. But this is not the reason. It happened at that day. This is why they call it, they celebrate Ashura by beating themselves. Very, very naive of you. Still, the fasting of Ashura... The fasting of Ashura, we are talking about the fasting of Ashura. Not beating yourself in Ashura, why you beat yourself? This is a different story. Any Muslim can tell us why he fasted Ashura? I mean, what's wrong with you? A very simple question. Pagan fast Ashura, Muhammad fast Ashura, and he ordered his followers to fast Ashura. Anyone can tell us why? Look at them. Any Muslim? Okay, we will change the topic because it looks like there's nobody. 
uh, Samir, you know, you don't upset me, but you see, uh, 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 I don't like hypocrisy. You see, when somebody is an engineer and he speaks like a kid, I mean, that's it. How 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 you say to me that circle is a flat? I mean, is your brain is a flat? You see, we speak about Muslims are being silly and they don't want to use their brain. You are an ex-Muslim and you are an engineer and you do software programming and yet you think that the circle is a flat. I mean, that's something. <laughs> I'm not upset from the circle. I'm upset. I'm upset from stupidity. It's you who carry that the sentence and you go to different program and you say Christian Prince you think the circle is not a flat <laughs> It's you who said that Silly Circle is a virtual shape does not even exist There's nothing is called circle. So how you make it flat? What flat? Anyway uh, So we will change the topic who is a Muslim want to give us a topic so we can open? Oh, the Muslim he said to us about Hebrew, the book of Hebrew, where Jesus he is crying and saying that he don't want to be crucified. Okay. So your question is what? How I can explain it? Very simple. The Messiah, the Bible says from the beginning to the end that the Son is obedient to the Father. And my father is a greater than me and the messiah you see this is proven that the muslims they lie when they say that muslims that christians believe in sacrificing the blood of a human so they can be forgiven we did not sacrifice anyone this is number one the messiah himself the messiah himself he knew the future this is number two he knew he's going to be crucified and that is telling you who is he number three that verse confirmed that Islam is a false religion because if Jesus will not be crucified anyway, why Jesus saying to the Father, I don't want this to happen unless it's your will. Let your will be done. So every sentence in that verse proving to us that Islam is a cult and it's a false statement from Muhammad to say that Jesus was not crucified. Number three. When Muslims they say that the Christian God he killed himself. That verse prove that the Christian God he knew they will kill him, but he don't like he don't, he's not is not uh, is not his wish to be killed. But he don't want to be involved to change the future. Let your will be God. What what will what does that mean? He knew it's going to happen and he will not change it. And the Messiah, he said at the end of the day, I lay down myself and nobody can take it from me. So here this verse proving that Jesus, he laid down himself. Nobody can take it from him. So now you need to answer how the Messiah, he is prophesying about himself, will be crucified. How he knew will be crucified. And how he is crying, as you said, for not to be crucified if he is not going to be crucified anyway. What do you say, Muslims? Any Abdul? Anyone? Same time, as long as we open the topic about crucifixion, the Quran confirmed that the crucif crucifixion happened. You see, Muhammad, by denying the crucifixion, he confirmed the crucifixion. And let's show you how. Muhammad, he suffered from low IQ. He is a very low and intelligent. Look what the verse is saying. They say, who supposedly the Jews? We killed the Messiah, Isa, Jesus, the son of Miriam. Look how stupid this statement is. Guys, the Jews, they say, we killed the Messiah. The Jews are waiting for the Messiah. So how the Jews, they will say, we killed the Messiah. Any Muslim can tell us how such a stupid statement can be made? Who is the Jew, he says, we killed the Messiah. Can you show me that Jew? Who is the Jew 
who says we killed the Messiah. Who is the stupid here? Any Muslim can show us the Jews who say we killed the Messiah? Because if they killed the Messiah, then why the Jews are waiting for the Messiah? The Jews don't believe they killed the Messiah. So this is number one lie. Number two, they say we killed the Messiah, the son of Mary. Why? Why they say he is the son of Mary? So that means the Jews believe that the Messiah is born without father. Correct, guys? Is that correct? When we say that we killed the Messiah, the son of Mary, that means the Jews ad admit and agree that the Messiah is a son of a virgin woman, but the, the Jews don't believe in that. So this is number line, uh, line number two about the Jews. Line number three. But they killed him not, nor crucified him. But the resemblance of Isa was put over uh, another man. Hold on. <laughs> That's getting more funny. Allah, he put the resemblance of Isa, brother, over somebody else. Okay, hold on. If we ask any Abdul, why Allah, he put the resemblance of Isa over someone else? What a Muslim would say? Who is a Muslim? Muhammadan will say to us the answer. Sharia, I mean justice banned. That's not, no, that's not what Sharia is. I don't know, you are saying Allah mean peace. Are you Muslims really? Sharia does not mean banned, have nothing to do with uh, even the Islamic religion. Sharia came in from the word shara, which means legalize. What are you talking about? To legalize something. Stop being stupid and don't say, obviously you don't speak Arabic. So here in the verse saying, but Allah, he resembles someone like Isa, Jesus, and he put his resemblance over different man. But this doesn't mean that J Jesus was crucified. Correct, guys? This doesn't mean Jesus was crucified. Why? Because he just confirmed that people, they saw someone look exactly like Isa. Is that correct, guys? The Quran confirmed that the true Jesus, the true Messiah, is the one who crucified. Because if I am now a human and I see someone look like Jesus exactly, speak like Jesus, have the voice of Jesus, have the hair of Jesus, and he is being killed in front of me, why I will not believe this is Jesus? Give me a reason. So your stupid Quran confirmed that everybody was there. He saw a perfect Jesus in the cross. So nobody lie. The only liar here in this story is you, Muhammadan. 600 years after Jesus, you come back and you say, oh, it was someone looked like Jesus. That means Jesus wasn't the cross. This verse is not written in the Quran. This Abdul saying to me, this verse is not in the Quran. No, it's in the Quran. This is chapter 4, verse 157. Maybe you have Quran of Zakir Naik. That's why it's not there. Zakir Naik, he got his Quran from the flea market. The goat ate most of it. Any Muhammadan? Huh? The Quran is a stupid book. This book confirmed that Jesus, he was crucified. Now you Muslims, you have to prove to us that this was the resemblance of Jesus, not him. As long you admit it in your Quran that this is someone look exactly like him. Do you understand it, people? The Quran admit that the one who was in the cross, he have the eyes of Jesus, the face of Jesus, the hair of Jesus, the hand of Jesus, the, face, the, the voice of Jesus. He is Jesus in every way, in every mean, perfect Jesus. How you can prove to us that this is not, was not him and how somebody how Allah he put somebody the look of Jesus in someone else. How is that happen? What does that mean? And as long Allah he put the resemblance of someone else to save Isa. Question why? Can't he save him without making the resemblance of somebody else? Don't Allah knew by making this trick he will deceive three billion, four billion Christians? Same time, 
why Allah don't do the same to save the stomach of Muhammad forget about resembling Muhammad the women she gave him a goat he ate the goat what about Allah he make a resemblance of Muhammad to eat the goat and that guy die <laughs> you know what I'm saying guys why Allah want to save Jesus by making somebody resemble Jesus but Allah will not make somebody resemble Muhammad to save Muhammad any Abdul here we go your prophet he died and he is suffering from the poison if Allah resembles someone look like Muhammad he eat the goat Muhammad will be laughing right now and say hey hey my filly is fine the guy who die is different one <laughs> because Allah resembles someone look like me and he made him eat the goat do you see it any Abdul stupidity so every simple question of those are disaster for the cult of Islam Allah did not resemble Muhammad to save Muhammad Allah resemble Isa to save Isa and that's mean that every statement in the Bible about seeing the, crucif the crucifixion of Jesus is true because the Quran confirmed that the Quran confirmed that this is someone resemble exactly Jesus so if the disciple of Jesus they said we saw Jesus in the cross they are not lying the Quran confirmed that any Muhammadan any Muhammadan here this is this is the most stupid book ever <clears throat> and then now how many questions we ask about Islam zero answer why Allah he sent Adam in Sri Lanka how Adam went all the way from Sri Lanka walking over the water coming to Mecca did Adam brother he built a ship by his own brother why Adam landed in Sri Lanka and Eve landed in the Arabian Peninsula? Anyone? Any Abdul? Why the Prophet he fast Ashura, which is the pagan fasting? No answer. Why he switched to Ramadan? No answer. Allah told him to fast Ramadan. Why? Because the Quran came in the month of Ramadan, but the month of Ramadan is not a month. Just to show you how stupid the cult of Islam. Guys, where is the month of Ramadan? Which month is Ramadan? Anybody can tell me? Is Ramadan in July? Or it's in August? Or it's December? Or January? Or February? Or March? Or April? Or May? Or June? Where is the month of Ramadan? Let me show you the madness and the stupidity of this cult. Give me a second.
All right. I'm trying just to find a website where it shows you the list of Ramadan for the last and the coming 10 years. And you will see that the month of Ramadan <laughs> does not exist. It is in January, February, March, April, May. It's all over the place. So what do you mean the fast of Ramadan? The, how, the, how this month can be a month? If this month can be in July, it can be in December, it can be... How this is going to be a month? I will tell you how. But let me try to find you. Uh, trying to find the list. What happened? They cannot find the website. All right, look like we found one finally. Thank God. Guys, read with me carefully. This is the month of Ramadan. This is a Muslim website. Ramadan in two year 2013 was in July 9. In 2014, June 28. 2015, June 18. 16, June 7. Let us move. Ramadan will be in May 6 this year then it's going to be in March 23 we are jumping you know just to show you in 2027 is going to be February 8 in 2030 is going to be January 6 what is this Muslims what is this if Ramadan is when Muhammad it's a date and this is the date when he received the Quran. How this date can be January sometime, February sometime, July sometime, August sometime, September sometime. What's wrong with you? Anyone knows why? What, what happened? You see, the Muslims, uh, uh, they adopted the pagan month. The, the, the pagan calendar before them Ramadan was a month exists by the pagan but what my Muslims did they decide to change the date of the year to start by Al Hijra what does that mean the day where Muhammad he left from Medina from 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 Mecca to Al Medina and by doing that they switched the year the year is not the same before it's it messed up so now the calendar is moving it's not fixed no more. So July can happen in, in the in the middle of December, and December can happen in July. Any Muslim want to say to me, I'm lying. What is this? Imagine, imagine Muhammad received Quran uh, in April. And now you Muslims, you celebrate receiving Quran in January. Or in December, depending on the year. What's wrong with this cult? Anyone? No answer. What a stupid God. Okay, let us go to the Quran. Just for the sake, there's a program, a, a, com a com comedy program, is called uh, uh, for for a laugh, for a laugh. Let us see how Ramadan is functioned in the Quran. The Quran says in Arabic, Shahru Ramadan, Alladi Unzila Fihil Quran. Okay, translation. The month of Ramadan, which was revealed the Quran. Where is, where is the word month? 
Who is the Muslim when I tell me what is the word mouth? What is the word mouth in this verse? There's no mouth. No, there's no mouth. The word shahar, you can go right now to the Hebrew, search for the word shahar. The word shahar is a word mean the moon. The moon. The moon of Ramadan, which was revealed the Quran. Muslims, how the moon of Ramadan is the where the Quran was revealed. In the Arabic language today, the word shahar mean the, the word shahar mean a month. But this is not the origin of it. The word shahar mean a moon. So the, the year for Allah is a 12 moon. Did I show you? Those are false translations. Sulaiman for Sulaiman for Sulaiman the flying carpet can fly for a moon not for a journey of a month it mean a month yes because this is the cycle of the moon but it says for a moon a moon journey a moon journey the word month here is not true any Abdul no, the word shahar, the word shahar mean moon. Okay, hold on, let me show you. You Muslims are, uh, you you live in denial, brother. Let us see. Do you see it? Shahar. You can't go to any Hebrew dictionary too, and you will find that the word shahar means moon. Okay. So in the in the moon of Ramadan, you receive Quran. But the moon of Ramadan when? Is that in July? Why Ramadan is here in May? When you when Muhammad he received the Quran first time, and did Muhammad receive the Quran all of it in uh, one month? That is very silly. Do we have any Muslim, any Muhammadan? No? Yeah, the word shahar mean, mean a moon, you know? All right. Any Abdul? Nothing? 
they don't know what they are worshiping they have no idea that is a silly argument why it's a silly argument if I say to you you saw Ramadan just let me show you who is a silly if I say to you we saw uh, Trump in the month of Ramadan but the month of Ramadan can come in July can come in December can come in May. who is the silly here Abdul you are saying to me this is a silly argument so what the point of saying to me in the month of Ramadan if Ramadan can be anything <laughs> let us see who is a silly here who is a silly why you are saying to me this is a month if this is can be all year long are you slow <laughs> Do you understand me, guys? It is silly if you are low in the IQ. Imagine I'm going to celebrate my birthday, and my birthday is Ramadan 11. Hmm? I want to celebrate my birthday according to the Islamic calendar. Ramadan. I, I am born in Ramadan 11, let us say. Okay, when is going to be? How my my birthday is going to be sometime in June, sometime in December, sometime in October. Is, who is a silly here? Maybe you are so slow to understand what's happening. I do not know him, my friend. I saw like a video of him, so I cannot judge a person I do not know. Sorry. Any Abdul, who is a Muslim want to celebrate his birthday according to the Islamic calendar? That would be the most funny birthday. Because your birthday can happen in July, can happen in December, can happen in, in you know, I mean, how you, what, what kind of calendar this calendar is? Hello. What is the guy saying? This is a silly argument. Is he still convinced that this is a silly argument? Sharia, I mean justice band. What justice band? What does that mean? What band mean? Is that a music band? What this guy is talking about? Hmm? What uh, Sharia? I mean, justice. But uh, let me show you your Sharia. You want us to talk about justice? Let's see justice. Let us show you the justice, the stupidity of the justice of Islam. You want to see some justice? Okay. Try not to laugh. To, to, to laugh. There we go. This is justice. In the case of murder, brother, free for the free, slave for the slave, women for the women. Okay, what does that mean? If you kill my wife, I kill your wife. Is that justice? Where is Mr. Justice? Where is the Abdul? He keep talking about justice. I kill my wife, you kill my wife, I kill your wife. Is that justice? Now we have two victims. Where is the justice? What about you kill my wife? I kill you. Why? Why I will kill his wife? Why somebody kill your wife? You kill his wife. What is justice? This is eye for an eye for Muhammad. This is how we understand eye for an eye. The foolish Muhammad. He heard that the Jews practice eye for an eye, and Muhammad is very smart. Okay, you kill my wife. I kill your wife. <laughs> And this is in the case of murder, not the case of war. Murder, which means we are neighbors. You you did something against me, maybe. Okay. So you kill my son, I kill your son. This is this is the justice. You kill my slave, I kill your slave. Slave for a slave, women for the women. That's a lot of justice.
Don't text me unless you are a Muslim. Otherwise, I'm going to block you. I'm blocking anyone who texts me. He don't say clearly, I'm a Muslim. And then you have to call me. You keep texting me, I will block you. Any Abdul? <clears throat> Where is justice? A Muhammad Zaid blocked you. Who are you to block you? What is your name? What is your name in Pal Talk? You are the coward. Give me your name. I will call you. You are a coward. You did not. Did you text me? Give me your name in Pal Talk. I will. I will call you right now. I will, I will put you in the screen. I, I, have you ever heard of somebody in Pal Talk? His name is Ali. Your ID is Ali in Pal Talk. I mean, is that an ID? Are you stupid or what? <laughs> Liar. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Have you ever heard of an ID of somebody in a program? Have hundreds of thousands. His name is Ali. That is the most stupid statement ever. His name is Ali. True story. Any Abdul? His ID, wise man. Uh, okay, this is wise man. Well, he did not say to me, uh, I am a Muslim. He said, send me a text. He says, hi. <laughs> hi, hello. <laughs> it's me you are looking for. <laughs> okay, wise man, I'm going to text you. Hold on. Here we go. And I'm going to call you in front of everybody. Answer. Hello. Hi. So Mark sixteen is a forgery. It's deleted from most Bible versions. What is that? Mark sixteen. What about Mark sixteen? Is that is that in the month of Ramadan? You quote in Mark sixteen. It's deleted from most Bibles. It's deleted from most Bibles. What happened? Is that verse eaten by the goat? No, it's an, it was added by the uh, Greek uh, 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 No, no, hold on, hold on. You need to tell me what happened to this verse. Is it, 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 hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Where Mark 16 is deleted from, the, from most of the Bible? Can you show me? Hello? Hello? Yeah, it's not in the English Standard Version. <laughs> okay, this will mean that the, the translation is a stupid like your prophet, so? No, no. <laughs> no, no, it's not deleted. Here we go. I will show everybody. Here we go. No, 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 you are a certified you are a certified donkey you are a certified donkey now i'm asking you i'm asking i'm asking you i'm asking you i'm asking you i answered you i answered you and i showed you that the verses in front of us the holy shut up shut up i answered you you are a liar secondly can you show me can you show me can you show me can you show me the book of mark in the quran all the book of mark Mark 16. Can you show me the book of Mark in the Quran? Why why the prophet of Islam did not mention the book of Mark? What do you think? It's not even inside. I'm asking you why you're a prophet. Why you're a prophet? He did not mention the whole book of Mark. What happened? Mark 16 is a forgery. You first you need to accept. You that. see, you you are you, okay, you are a kid, you are a kid, you want to repeat yourself. You can repeat yourself as much as you wish. You are the forgery. You have to prove it. Open up Mark 16. I have it in, in the front the, of me in the screen. I put it in the screen for everybody. 
That's, an, that's the King James Version. <laughs> it doesn't matter that's what version. version. This is what the Bible says. Mark 16 is there. Put it in the English Abdul, Standard Version. Abdul, or NIV or here we go. I'm, I'm going to play it for you. Here we go. Listen carefully. Stop. Shut up. Shut up. Mark 16. Do you see? And when the Sabbath was passed, you're Mary an idiot Magdalene. Because shut up. Verse, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, 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 listen carefully. Mark it's not 16. In the shut up. Shut up. Shut up. It's been added. Mark Mark David Wood. <laughs> Mark 16 Ab is a forgery. Ab Abdul, you are Verses the forgery. You are the forgery. Let me ask you. Let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Okay. You see, I, I answer. You ask me a question. Why you don't? Why you don't? Why you don't even listen, listen, this. listen, 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 potato. Why? Why you don't wanna? Why do they wanna have a conversation? Why you just wanna repeat yourself over and over and over? Is All right, let's have a proper conversation. Okay, I wanna ask you. There is a verses which is missing in the Quran, eaten by the goat. Do you think Mark 16 is one of them? There's no verses missing from the Quran. What do you mean? Here we go. I will show it in the front in the front of you on the screen. Here we go. Go on. Okay. All right. And anyone can check Hold on. Mark 16. Don't, don't look, look at anyone. Yeah, it's in front of me. I, the I, not I, change, I change the translation. It's there. You are a liar. Everybody can go. And now, here we go. Out. Here we go. Here we go. Is, is, you said you said there's nothing missing in the Quran. Read with me carefully. The hate in the front of you on the screen. Yeah, that's abrogated. There's two types of abrogation. This is abrogated. So who <laughs> who is the one who abrogated this verse? Who is the one who abrogated this verse? The goat or Allah? That hadith doesn't have a strong chain of narration. No, this is Sahih. No, no, it doesn't have a strong chain of it narration. It is, it is, it is a strong chain of narration, and this is the book no, of no, Sunan al And here we go in the front of you. It it's says well, this is a correct hadith. Stop lying. Stop lying. No. Okay, hold on, hold on. You just said, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody heard you saying this verse is abrogated. So you agreed that there was a verse which is about to stone him to death, correct? Yeah. Okay. And there's a verse about a breastfeeding for adult, correct? I don't know about breastfeeding. For what adults. do you know? So you know about Mark, but you do not know about your religion? Oh, because I studied Christianity. You study nothing. You are an idiot. Here we go. The verse in front of us. The verse, the verse in the front of us. You are, a, you are a stupid liar. There's nobody believe in this. And now I'm asking you, why the nobody verses? Believes, hold on. Nobody okay. Hold on. Okay. 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 Hold on. Hold on. We will go with you. We'll go with you. We'll go with your lies. You agreed that the verse of stoning to death is was there and it's abrogated. Did you say that? Yeah. Okay. What is the verse which abrogate this verse? It's in the Quran. Where? Is that in Mark 16? I can show you that verse. Okay, show it to me. Here we go. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you. I will give you 10, ten years. Fair I will enough. give you 20 years. If there is any Muslim in the chat, you want to help this Muslim brother, please help him. The goat. No, I, mean, I don't need help. You do not need help. Okay. It's going... Mark 16 idea. Okay, Remember it's that. going to take you ten thousand years. To... Okay, hold on, don't change topic. Don't change topic. Here we go. So Mark 16 obviously is 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 it's the... a forgery. It's a forgery. Uh, uh, okay. Even Mark, even David. You see, Abdul, you are a potato. You are a potato. You are trying now to skip. I want you to. Show... Oh, you want you to show me where the abrogated verses for stoning to death. I can give you a general ruling. What general ruling? No, you said to me in the Quran a second ago, everybody heard you saying, I said to you, yeah. where is the abrogated verse for this verse? You said to me in the Quran. I want you chapter, to show it to me. Yeah, chapter 2. Chapter 2. <coughs> this is 106 to 107. 206, 207. Okay. 106 and 107. 106. Okay, well, read the verse for us where it says that this is abrogation for the verse you mentioned. No, it says oh, any verse can be abrogated. This is not that you see, don't be stupid, idiot. That means the whole Quran can be abrogated. I mean, you are a stupid, are you an idiot or what? Where is the verse you said to me? The abrogation for that verse is exist in the Quran. Where is the it verse? Is no, where is the verse abrogate that verse? Because in order to abrogate a verse, you have to replace it with a verse. 
verse about it. Where is the verse abrogate stoning to death? That's the verse. It's a general ruling. That's stupid of you. Secondly, I want you to show me one Muslim in the world agree that the verse of stoning to death is abrogated. Otherwise, you have to admit that you are a certified donkey. I think you've lost the plot. No, no, I'm asking you. I am challenging you to show me one Muslim in the whole world believe that the verse of stoning to death is abrogated. Which means it's not Muslim to follow. Believes, huh? Every Muslim believes that. No, you practice it. Do you practice stoning to death or not? No, maybe I don't practice what? stoning to death now. What? What? I don't practice uh, stoning. Because no. you're a potato. I'm asking you, do Islam practice until now, stoning to death, according to Islam? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so why they practice it if it's abrogated? Are you donkey or what? How you say to me it's abrogated and Islam practice it? Because the verse is abrogated but not the ruling ah the verse is abrogated okay show me where the quran says that the verse is abrogated the in 106 and 107 no this verse doesn't say that the verse says here, here if allah want you to cause to forget the quran he will give you something better or similar did allah give you something similar or better yeah where where is the verse similar or better than the verse of uh, of stoning show me we're in the whole Quran speak about stoning because it says <coughs> something better or similar. Show me either show me either better or show me either similar about the stoning lashings, to death. The lashings. What? The lashings. No, that lashes is not abrogated. This one is still the same. <coughs> this is no, no, that one is stupid idiot. This that one for single people, stupid. You are, you're a donkey. I think that you've lost the stupid, stupid you're isn't. stumbling. That verse, you getting angry that, that verse is a for for single people who they are married. Stoning to you've death is for married people. Topic. Listen, Abdul. Listen, listen. I'm asking David you. David Wood said, Mark be honest, be honest with you. And you're, no, you're saying no, he's lying. You are, you are a donkey. Don't, know, lying. don't say David Wood, he says something. You are a liar. Yeah. You are a donkey. I'm oh, asking said, you. I'm it's asking on video, you. It's on video. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, no problem. No problem. Right listen, 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 right listen, listen, listen. Oh, no, right no Christian believe that this is a forgery. You are the forger like your prophet. I'm asking you now. Now, according no to, Christian, according to everybody, listen, according to every Muslim, who is the one who sent Mark 16? I'll show you David Wood. who is the one who sent mark 16 down is it Allah I'm playing the video for you uh, no don't play don't videos for me <laughs> you want to play video for me <laughs> five <laughs> yes stupid idiot you see guys when the Muslim they speak about something they can't handle the truth <clears throat> uh, if there's any translation I can make now a translation and I take the whole chapter off. I can take the whole Bible off. That is a translation we don't accept. Even if the meaning is wrong, it's a translation made by a translator. If we show them now, Muslim translation, which quote in verses, as an example, the translation of what is named this guy, the one who made number 19. What his name, guys? Anyone remember? The one who was killed in Arizona? The Muslim, they say we don't accept it. This translation is rejected by us. You see the hypocrite how they are? But we have many Quran, they don't match with the Quran. Even Uthman himself, he burned many Quran. Uthman himself, he burned many Quran. Why he burned the Quran if they are the same Quran? Quran Ibn Mas'ud don't have the chapter of Al-Fatiha. Umar Ibn Al-Khattab, he said the Quran was a million and twenty-five thousand letter. Today the Muslim, they have less than 270,000 letter, which means more than 85% of the Quran is missing. When we show him this hadith about the goat eating the Quran, look what he did in the beginning. He said this verse is abrogated. To have an abrogated verse, you have to replace it. And there's no Muslim belief. Actually, he said to us, it's abrogated as a verse, but not as a ruling. Not as a ruling. What the point of abrogating the verse? How the how the how the verse can be abrogated if you follow the ruling? And what the point? Why Allah don't want you to remember the verse? Is there something wrong with it? Oh, what happened? They cannot find the verse in the Quran.
but they remember the ruling so they practice the ruling that's exactly what happened and here it says breastfeeding for adult where is the verse for breastfeeding for adult Aisha she explained what happened to the Quran the goat ate it the goat ate it as simple as that if there is any Muslim want to say that this is not true anyone who is a Muslim want to say something there is an Imam his name as Suyuti let us see how many uh, verses missing according to us <clears throat> Read carefully with me. All those are by Imam al Suyuti. He counted 57, 57 count of corruption in the Quran, and he is a Muslim Sunni. 57 story proving the corruption of the Quran. But this does not mean 57 verses are missing. No. That means there are thousands of verses are missing. Look what this guy said. He said that the verses of Estonian to death was abrogated. Look what Omar he said. Let me get him busted. I hope he is listening and he will laugh at himself. And we will show it to you from Sahih al-Bukhari, which is a very Sahih hadith. You're a liar. There's nobody believed that this verse is abrogated. Not by ruling and not by verse, but it's gone. It's missing. Look what Omar he said. I am afraid that after a long time has passed, people, they may say, we do not find the verses of a regime. The guy does it say verses? Does it say verses or a verse? It says verses, right? That's mean there should be, we should have verses, not a verse. Not one. Verses of a regime. Regime means stoning, stoning to death in the Holy Quran. And he is afraid that they might go astray, uh, astray from the obligation which Allah has revealed. Okay. If it is abrogated, why Omar he believed that he's afraid? And Allah abrogated. Is uh, is Omar correcting Allah? Is Allah is stupid? Who is the one who will abrogate the Quran? It's Allah. Okay, if it's abrogated, then Omar, this is after the death of Muhammad. That's it. There's no change will happen. Muhammad is dead. No addition will come to the Quran. And yet Omar is afraid. That people will not practice the death. Why? Because they cannot find the verses. Not because it's abrogated, you liar. Do you see it, people? He is not, if, because if it's abrogated, he should not be concerned because Allah, he made it abrogated. That's it. If Allah made it abrogated, Allah is all wise. He's not stupid, supposedly. If Allah says I abrogated, that's it. Omar, he cannot uh, complain about Allah's decision. But Omar, he is saying it clearly, we cannot find it. Omar said, I am afraid that after a long time passed, has passed, people may say we did not find the verses of our regime in the holy book. And he confirmed that it is verses, not one verse. So why you are lying saying to me this verse is abrogated? What a big fat liar you are. If it's abrogated by Allah or the or the Prophet, no Muslim will complain and no Muslim will say, I'm afraid.
Hm? Any Muslim have a comment? And don't worry about Mark 16. Aren't you the Muslims you challenge us to practice Mark 16? Now Mark 16 is a forgery. <laughs> And you know what? Let us go with you. Let us say you are now excited. You found that Mark 16, according to you, is a forgery, but that will not change anything. Still, Mark 6, Mark, the whole book of Mark saying that Jesus is God. So, what the difference would make for you? Still, Mark proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. Any Abdul? Who is Abdul? And he said to us, a new life version does not have the mark, Mark 16, correct? I never heard of this translation before, but here we go. This is Mark 16 in a new life version. Do you see it? You say this not exist. This is a new life version. And by the way, this is just a translation. There's many translators. So? Do we have any Abdul here? So this is the best you come with? And look how they deny. They say, um, uh, this hadith is not sahih. So what you are saying to me, it's a, it's a forgery. So you are complaining about forgery in Christianity, but you are agreeing that Islam is a forgery because this is the books you call it Sahih. So how you call the book Sahih, but it's the book of forgery. Do you see guys the stupidity? You are saying that Mark 16 is a forgery and the second I show you your book, you say this is to me, this is a forgery. Anything make Islam look stupid you say it's a forgery and why Islam is based on Sahih transmitted hadith why Allah need the hadith to prove Islam I thought you have the Quran Why you need the hadith even your prophet he said don't write hadith just to show you how stupid Islam is I never saw a stupid cult like this. Muhammad, he said, and this is not a forgery. This is Sahih. <laughs> I mean, guys, look at the look at this madness. <clears throat> Muhammad said, "Don't write down anything from me." And he who took down anything from me except the Quran, he should erase it. Did you? Does it say that? People, does it say that? So why you Muslim you have Sahih al-Bukhari and why even this hadith is written this hadith in itself is, is, a, is, a, is against Allah Prophet Imagine I say to you don't make coffee and you say to me that uh, he just said to you don't write hadith you write that Muhammad he just said don't write what I say only write Quran and you write the Prophet he said don't write what I say <laughs> The religion of the most low IQ ever. Your prophet just told you, don't write the hadith. You are writing the hadith, saying the prophet says, don't write the hadith. What's wrong with you? He just said to you, don't write that. You write it down. Me. <clears throat> can you share uh, good proof that the moon was okay let me show you. you're asking me to find more reference okay give me a second hold on. this guy is asking me to show that the word shahar mean moon all right
All right. Well, I'm trying just to find an official uh, website, not... Uh, not just a website. I found the website, but I want to show you something official. Not just anything. All right, there's many, I mean, you can search yourself. But here we go, like, I mean, there's tons of website. This is the meaning of, uh, 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 this is from the uh, from the uh, uh, Hebrew, the origin of it. Shahar, mean of Shahar. What does Shahar mean? In Arabic, the moon, do you see it? All right. Do you see it? You can search. I mean, uh, this is basic knowledge. It's not like something really uh, a big deal. But most of people do not know. But you know, most of people they are ignorant. They don't want to uh, earn knowledge. Yeah. So Shahar is the moon. Never was a moth. But by time, because the moon practice became uh, 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 Islam, like. Uh, uh, Islam is trying to copy the Jews. You know, the Jews, they use the moon for their calendar too. So Muhammad is copying the Jews. He copied the Jews. And by doing that, he copied whatever the Jews they have. And the word shahar is the moon. So the Quran says, whoever of you witness the moon of Ramadan, not the month of Ramadan. How you can witness a moon? How you can witness a month? Let us go back. To witness a moon, I sight the moon, not only witness actually. Let us see, hold on. Sometimes you might be confused because the Muslim translation is kind of uh, uh, confusing. Okay, do you see? Do you see here what it says? In the, even in the Muslim translation, guys, let us say, whoever of you sight sight between two bracket, shahr, hilal, huh? whoever of you witness what sight what sight. Sight, do you know what sight mean? People, what sight mean? Is sight is something we see? Is that correct? When we say sight, does that mean we see something? Are you following with me? Guys, are you listening or not? When we say one one of you sight something, sight it's mean we see it, right? Okay, see what? Even between two brackets in the Muslim translation, they say the crescent first night of the month of Ramadan. The crescent one, the crescent moon. You cannot cite the month, you cite the moon. <laughs> 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 
trust me I never say something to you is not true I, I, I will never you see if I don't know I will I will not open my mouth like because a foolish man is somebody speak about something you do not know if I say something I stand by it all right so shahar never was a word mean month and look here how the, the first translation exposed itself how here you say the month of Ramadan and here you say sight the, the the crescent moon but it's the same word here here we go this is the word this is shahar and this is shahar so why here you put it between two bracket the crescent moon You see it so Ramadan is not a month it's a moon whoever of you witness sight the moon of Ramadan the Muslim they believe that Ramadan is a is a moon and that is the moon of Ramadan so when you sight the moon of Ramadan which is the crescent moon and here you need to ask yourself why the crescent moon Why, ha why it have to be the crescent moon? What about seeing the moon? Any Muslim knows? They do not know. You see, in in the old in old old religion. Uh, The sun and the moon, they are gods. Both of them, they are gods. The sun married from the moon god. The sun god married from the moon god. And they have three daughters. You remember their names, right? Alat and Al Uzza and Manat. Chapter 53 verse number 19 and 20 al lat and we we explained to you before the word l does not mean the in this case it's mean god l in the old aramaic and hebrew it is a word mean god so you put al before now the, the word l in the new hebrew transformed to be el so instead of al in the hebrew today we have Il, Emmanuel, Elohim. Okay? Il. So Al, the same word Al became Il. So in the Old Hebrew, it was Israel, not Israel. It was Mikael, not Mikael. All right? Now, Al is an Aramaic word which is God have nothing to do with any God any God you put it in the front of anything you make it God so Al Lat God Lat Al Uzza God Uzza makes sense right those are God is female they are the daughters of Allah uh, once I heard uh, somebody asking uh, the funny James White they ask him do Muslims worship the moon God? He says no, because the Quran says don't worship the moon. That's stupid. Because the Muslims, you know, the moon God worship is not worshiping the moon, is worshiping the moon God, which is the God who in control of this moon. What people they see, this is why we see here in the other verses say the crescent moon. What the crescent moon? The crescent moon present another God which is known in the Quran and even known in the Bible. Anyone remember what the name? Let us see how many of you will remember. The God which is God of fertility. What his name? Anyone remember? <clears throat> Baal. Thank you. Baal is just another name for the moon God. Chapter 37, verse number 125, it says, Are you you will call upon Baal? And you forsake the best of the creator? 
the stupid Muhammad do not know that Baal is just another name for other nation for the same God the God of fertility so the crescent moon supposedly that when the moon God Baal he show his horn because he is the male and now he's having sex this is why the Arab when they have the crescent moon they start all their activities which is about like let us have sex because now the God of fertility he will make us he will make the women have a child if you go in the in the black stone you will see that the black stone made in the shape of a vagina why it was made in the shape of a vagina why it does it's not made in shape of something else let us go to the black stone hold on <clears throat> everything have a reason it was not like uh, by mistake it was made in a certain way for a certain reason the black stone made in the shape of a vagina because simply was present in a vagina and this vagina will be fertilized by the god the moon god Baal or Allah Allah La. you see Allah his name we just showed you that Al is a word mean God La is the name of the God La is the moon God you can search right now in Google you will find that La is the moon God women they used to go when they have their period because obviously when you have your period this means you are not carrying a child they place their hand they go around the Kaaba naked how we can prove that the people used to work to to, to practice sexual religion uh, around the Kaaba we can find it even in the hadith Let us see. Here we go. Sahih Muslim, Hisham narrated in the authority of his father that the Arab, uh, uh, with the ex uh, exception of the Hamas, who were Quraysh and their descendant, go and circumcise around the house naked. Do you see it says naked? What, did you ask yourself why they go naked? What is the religion? What is the religion was a practice in around the Kaaba? which required you to be naked because this is a sexual Kaaba the moon god Baal the fertilized god he is going to fertilize your vagina so they made a black stone in the shape of a vagina and then the women and by the way all everything I'm saying to you is coming from uh, Islamic books you remember we showed you if this is coming why the black stone became black because because of the blood of the women pre period women they place their hand in their vagina and then they put their hand inside the black stone and then the man after that he come and he wrap his penis inside the, the black stone praying to Allah to make the women carry their seeds this is the black stone it is totally a vagina any Muslim want to say to me I challenge you you are a liar who is a Muslim want to challenge me what was the religion practice around the black stone around the Kaaba where it's required to take off your clothes naked women and actually Muhammad he forbid people to walk around the Kaaba if you have my book sex and Allah you will read that Muhammad he forbid people from going around the Kaaba naked because he saw a woman he liked her vagina and her breast ask the Muslims when the last time people they used to go naked around the Kaaba they say to you in the last year of Islam okay hold on so Muhammad now he controlled the Kaaba for many years why until now and almost he is dead he did not forbid people from going naked around the Kaaba Islam now is controlling the Kaaba Islam controlling Mecca who is the one was going naked around the Kaaba then
and why Muhammad did not forbid it Allah have time to tell us don't eat pork where is the verse in the Quran that says don't go around the Kaaba naked why Allah don't mention that you know you know what I mean guys isn't it this is very important for Allah to mention if Allah is a true God and the Quran is from Allah which one is important in the, to, to say to us in the Quran you can eat at home like we see in chapter 24 verse number 61 which is extremely stupid or to say don't go naked around the Kaaba so Allah have time to tell us there's no sin on you to eat alone you can eat in your father home you can eat in your mother home but he don't have one verse saying to Muhammad hey Muhammad tell those people to stop doing that they are going around my house totally naked why Muhammad never received any statement from his God saying don't ever do that there is no restriction on blind no restriction on lame no restriction on the sick nor on yourself if you eat in your houses look at the wisdom that is hilarious that's God the one is talking here is God Muslims the one here is talking is God what is that and he have no time to say to Muhammad don't let people go around the Kaaba naked this is God <laughs> I'm a liar Haji are you there Haji who is a liar Haji Haji what do you say why the people used to go around the Kaaba naked mr. Haji who is a Muslim tell us what was the religion practice around the Kaaba by the Arab require them to take off their clothes totally naked what is that religion nakedness always involves sexuality when we say naked we mean naked literally naked nude you see guys it says here clearly even in the Muslim translation in the state of nudity do you, do you see that why what is the religion was practice which Muhammad he adopted Ashura from them and he fast with them and he made the satanic verses approving their gods and he says that Lat and Uzza, their intercession is a must what is that religion which is based on nudity anyone knows Nobody? Hmm? What is this religion? Why people want to go naked? What the what's happening here? What exactly the practice? By the way, the naked here are not only men, men and women, uh, you know, party, party. Man, if Muhammad he, he keep doing that, the Hajj will be very, very popular. You see, you have nude beach in the year 2019 in Europe. Maybe they have it before you, the Arab, long time ago. Women get totally naked. Ashura is the same day as Yom of uh, Kippur, 10th of Tishri. Muhammad took it from the Jewish. Actually, there is there is a hadith that says that Muhammad he saw uh, uh, people fasting in the day of Ashura, 
and he saw he saw the Jews and he said to the Jews what is this <laughs> what is this he said this is the day where Moses he crossed the sea we fasted Muhammad he says we are more close to Moses from you and he start practicing Ashura for the one is talking about Ashura Any Muslim? Here we go. You see the hadith? Who is the one who was talking about he took it from the Jews? What's his name? Whatever your name is. You see, when we ask the Muslims, we ask them to challenge them, to challenge their knowledge. They do not know. But here you notice the Muslims how much they are confused. Aisha, she is saying that Ashura was a day of the pagan. The hadith says that Muhammad, he took it from the Jews. <laughs> and look, look what happened. When the Prophet arrived to Medina, which is Yathrib, the city of the Jews, the Jews were observing the fast of Ashura. Do you see it? The 10th of Muharram. And they said, this is the day when Musa has become victorious over the Pharaoh. On that, the Prophet said to this companion, you Muslims have more right to celebrate Musa's victory. <laughs> so it was not Allah who ordered him. Muhammad here clearly is copying the Jews. Yeah, but Matt, you know, when we when we discuss with Muslims, you see, when you discuss with Muslims, you cannot put all your papers out. You freak them out. You have to play like a game. It's a game. Muslims don't don't they are not honest, first of all. They play games. So if you say to them this hadith now, you know, you kill the game if you say it from the beginning. It's like playing cards with the Muslims. Don't show all your cards. Let them say, let them defend. And the more they defend, the more they are in trouble. So if you think I do not know about it, this is my book, actually, if you read my books. So Muhammad, obviously, he's a copy. He's copying the pagan. He's copying the Jews. Okay, so now he saw the Jews fasting that day and he take it. What if this day is wrong? Right? What if the Jews are liars? What if this is the wrong date? And then how Muhammad, he said later, if you fast this day, is going to erase your sin for a year. Where he got this belief from? <laughs> this guy is just uh, fabricating religion. He's just making things up. He's not a prophet. He saw the Jews have been fasting, the Christian have fasting, everybody have fasting. He don't have fasting. Now we have to have fasting. We are making a new religion now, supposedly. So we copy them. As simple as that. Let me show you another hadith, which is very funny. Once Muhammad was uh, performing uh, a funeral prayer on a Muslim. The Messenger of Allah, S-A-W-S, this is like a Mercedes-Benz, you know, in that time, used to stand up for a funeral, entered the crops, was placed in the grave. Okay. A learned Jew, when we say a learned Jew, what does that mean? A rabbi. A rabbi. A learned Jew passed by him and he said, this is how we do it. What he said? This is how we do it. What he said? This is how we do it. The second the Jew, he said, this is how we do it. Look what Muhammad did. He said, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, act differently. Like, what the heck? All what the Jew said to him, this is how we do it. How Muhammad, he changed the prayer which are given to him by Allah in a second. So just because the guy, he said to him, this is how we do it. Muhammad, he said, 
Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, act differently. That fast. If Muhammad is a prophet of God, and this is he should should he was praying wrongly. So now we change the way we pray just to act differently. I wish I can pray for you. The, the, there's a song, it's called This is How We Do It. So all with the Jewish guy, he said to him, This is how we do it. And now Muhammad, he because Muhammad here he felt if he get busted. You see the point? When the when the rabbi said to him, This is how we do it, Muhammad. Oh uh oh, they knew I'm copying them. Uh oh, oh boy, they knew it. I have to stay act differently. Sit down, sit down, act differently. He got busted. If Muhammad he claimed that he is coming from the same God of the Jews, well, he can say, Well, yeah, this is the correct way anyway, because we worship the same God, correct, guys? If I am praying the same as somebody else worship the same God, so why I need to change it, act differently, and how you can change it? Who are who allow you to change it? Are you saying to me that you were praying wrongly? Are you saying to me you perform a prayer which is fake? Otherwise, how you can change it if Allah told him how to pray? You know what I mean, guys? Imagine Jesus was teaching them how to pray, and he said to them, Say like this, our father out of heaven. And then a Jew, Rabbi Jew, he said to Jesus, This is how we do it. <laughs> and then Jesus said to them, Act differently. Let us not to pray like this no more. That's that that can't be true. This is how you find who is a false prophet, who is a real prophet. If Muhammad is a real prophet, he should be sure that okay, this is the right way to pray anyway. You do it differently or not, it doesn't matter. This is how we do it. You know what? I wish I was exist in the time of Muhammad. I will drive him crazy. I will keep walking by whatever Muhammad he do. I say to him, this is how we do it. And then Muhammad, he have to act differently. As an example, Muhammad, he eat from his mouth. I will say to him, this is how we do it. Muhammad, now he cannot eat from his mouth no more because this is how we do it. He have to eat from different place. Muhammad, he see by his eyes. I will say to him, this is how we do it. Muhammad, now he have to use his ears. He cannot see by his eyes no more. Muhammad, he sit down. I will say to him, this is how we do it. Muhammad will never sit down. He will stand up. He will sleep standing. But what is that? We just say to him, this is how we do it, and now he changed it? Do we have any Muslim have a comment? Why we have to act differently? But you know, we have to admit, you know, the prophet, he, have, he brought a lot of knowledge for, to mankind, which nobody knows, no Jews, no Christians, no Hindus, no Buddhas. And actually, it's involved a lot of science. Uh, as you know, uh, summer is coming, so I, I would like to give you some advices about summer summer stuff. This is an advice from the prophet, not from me. All right. What if you are eating and a fly fail in your soup what you do summer is coming and insects are going to be going crazy you are eating a soup expensive soup a fly fell down in your soup zzz, 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 up. The fly fell down in your soup. 
because the fly getting hot I think she think this is a swimming swimming pool or something uh, and now uh, the fly have uh, bacteria and viruses brother so how we can I mean, we cannot throw the soup so what we do the prophet because he is a genius and Allah taught him something nobody knows he said to the Muslims David 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 this is how we do it David 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 this is I want a Muslim to practice this I want a Muslim to make a video live and the fly fell down in his soup and dip it dip it dip it this is how and then after that you drink the soup one wing have a disease and the other wing have a cure are you sure in the wing brother actually uh there is there is a video <clears throat> uh there is a video yes the the the, the moons uh, the, the, we will go back to the moon the crescent moon is simple of, of uh, symbolic of islam because of that reason one of the reasons is they are just copying the moon god practice before but let, let's go here there's a video made by a muslim from egypt i believe i think he is egyptian let me see if i can find the video this guy in this video he said that brother the enemy of allah the catholic church brother uh, they hire two german scientists from germany to, to what two german And they told them, uh, we want you, the Catholic Church, they hired those two, two. And they told them, I want, we want you to study uh, this uh, hadith so you expose Muhammad, the Catholic. The Catholic, they want to expose Muhammad. And those two German brother, the scientists, they start studying. And here was the astonishing result. They found that in the wings of the, uh, 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 the fly, there is a cure for aids and then they told the catholic church the catholic church the bob he told them please please don't tell anyone about this discovery because then everybody will convert to islam the bob the bob he told them the bob bob so and then those uh, two uh, uh, scientists i'm trying to find the, 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 the video for you uh it's because it's translated you will die laughing it's translated to english Uh, let us see anyway like after they discover that uh, those two scientists they saw the secret to, to a company it's called Bayer in Germany and they made uh, the, uh, medicine for AIDS from it and they sell every bill for five hundred dollars, brother. From the wings of the brother, uh, the fly. The right wing. I, uh, I don't know if you guys you can search for it. Uh, I'm trying. It, it's it should be there. It's in the memory. You know this uh, project called Memory TV. And I'm trying to find it. It's very funny, hilarious. Let us see. Maybe I'm pronouncing the name of the memory TV wrongly. Me, 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 me. Memory TV. How, how you guys, do you know the name of this memory uh, memory TV? Okay, this holds it. Okay, hold on. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Okay, now I got it. Okay. I am in their website. I will try to find the hadith there if we can. Let us, let us see. Fly. I was, here we go. I found it. All right. Uh, let me open it for you. Uh, uh, this is number 
1889 Hamas TV. This is Hamas TV. The scientist Dr. Ahmad Al Muazzin Bayer invented its cure for AIDS based on the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad, the wings of the fly. A brother. Anyway, I'm going to delete my videos anyway. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but anyway, this is the link, guys. You can watch it there. No need for me to play it. All right. I mean, imagine how they fabricate lies to make people believe in the stupidity which is written by Muhammad, and they fabricate. By the way, this company does not have any any kind of medicine for AIDS. This company does not sell anything like this. But they, you know, I mean, they discovered they have all the secret. The Catholic, the Catholic, because the Muslims, they believe the Catholic are the most ugly enemy to Allah after the Jews. In case you do not know, this is why you see the Muslim always. They say, you see a video says a reflection of a Catholic when he first time he hear the Quran because when you see a Catholic like this is the most enemy to Allah, you know. So, the Catholic brother, the Catholic. They hire a brother, they hire a scientist, a brother. Look how smart. I mean, look, he look, look like a genius. He's a doctor from Hamas. This is Hamas TV, brother. And this is the title. You can watch it later. Hamas TV scientist, doctor. This is a scientist, by the way. This is doctor. This is a doctor. This is a doctor. Hmm. There's other video, by the way, I made a video about him and he reported me to here too. Copyright and uh, privacy claim. Uh, uh, he was uh, speaking why we should not eat uh, swine. Anyone remember the video? Why we should not eat pigs? Who remember? Let me see if I can find you the other video. Anyway, this guy, he made the video why we should not eat pigs. And he come with the uh, he's trying to prove to us that we should not eat pigs why he said because if you eat a pig you are eating a Jew because Allah he cursed them he made them pigs <laughs> and he wanted to prove to us that uh, pigs are dirty he says they are the only animals they have sex with their mother <laughs> let us see if I can find you why we cannot Eat swine. Oh, let's see. Hilarious cult. When is stupidity become a religion? What you can do? I don't know. You need to find it. You see, I'm not finding things easy today. I'm, it's not my lucky day. I'm not finding videos easy. I'm searching, but I cannot find it. Hey, by the way, guys, don't forget if you speak Spanish, tell your friend about our new book in Spanish. This is a translation for the deception of Allah. I cannot find it. Anyway, maybe you can search for like why we cannot eat a swine. Uh, let me try again. No, I'm not being lucky. Uh, anyway guys I think we have enough for today we are here for many hours by the way uh, I'm not going to keep this video because it's not really important much uh, there's a video I made a few days ago and only a few of you downloaded I made a comment down in the comment section it's about uh, marrying a Muslim I encourage you all of you to download this video it's extremely important please Download this video. Let me uh, 
I have somebody coming to my door. Wrong timing. Hold on. Yeah, so download it because let me let me pause it for you. People want to come to your door to sell your stuff. And because I'm very rich, I will buy. All right, this is the video. <clears throat> Is my voice clear, guys? Yeah, so please download this video because it's very important. And I found, I found only maybe one or two of you download the video already. Uh, the Muslims, they do their best, try to deceive your, your, your daughters, your, your, you know, your women. And you have to learn about this cult before you get involved in something bad. Be careful. <clears throat> Why I'm taking my videos off? If I don't take them off, YouTube take them off. I am targeted by YouTube day and night. So if you want my, my YouTube, you need to download them immediately Otherwise, I have no choice but to take them. The Sharia YouTube, the Sharia department of YouTube, they always target my channel. So I don't keep my videos. All right? So you need to support me by downloading my videos. Anything I do, anything I say, they don't agree with me. Otherwise, I should have like now um, thousands of videos on my channel, which will bring a lot of people to subscribe to, right? Uh, why you want to make a video and take it off? But we have no choice. Those liberals, they are siding with the Sharia law cult. Oh, yeah. The Muslim, they sponsor, the YouTube sponsor Muslims. Go and see how many videos against me, hate, uh, uh, calling names, even. The other, the other day, there's a guy, he asking the Muslims to go and uh, report uh, uh, David Wood, and he said, word by word, this is how you can harm him. It's a hate teaching. Crime, actually. David Wood, he should report him to the police. He said, clearly, this is how you can harm him. And his video is there. Right. Uh, have you ever prayed, uh, Muhammad? Do you think if I prayed, I will tell you? Isn't it Jesus says when you pray, go to your closet? Only hypocrite people they speak about them themselves praying. I pray and I fast and. I, why you need to talk about that? This is something private between me and my Lord. Hypocrite people, they like to publish because they are hypocrites. Muslims, they love to say, oh, I'm going to pray because he need to know, everybody should know that he's going to pray. He's a good guy. Right? We don't do that. I pray, I don't pray, none of your business. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. We have enough for today. And until we go again, I hope tomorrow. Until then, I want to say thank you uh, for your support and for your uh, uh, attending and inviting your friends and downloading the videos and everything you do and those who support us uh, by donation too I uh, really appreciate all of you and uh, uh, we hope that people they are learning educating themselves and they connect the dots always and you see how the Muslims try to manipulate things and they are empty they have nothing they have no religion Islam is not a religion Islam is just a stupid cult collection of cults actually is not even a religion
So they have nothing. They stand on nothing. They do not know even who is their God. Ask any Muslim what the word Allah means. He do not know. Ask them what the word Israel means. They do not know. Abraham didn't know. Jibreel didn't know, because Islam is a theft. Muhammad he stole names. He have no idea what they mean, and he put them in his book. Very clear sign of a theft. Imagine you write something in your book, and you yourself you do not know what you wrote, or what it's meant, but yet you claim that you are the one who wrote the book. Muhammad is nothing but a thief. He stole his cult from some from the Jews, some from the Nasara and the Christians, some from the uh, the Sabi and some from the Arab pagan, the Black Stone, the Kaaba. It's a collection of everybody. Islam is a shish kebab, salad, falafel, hummus, all together. And only Allah knows what he meant by his cult. And you figure it out. Thank you very much for being here. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Take care.